health, wealth, love, and happiness. What's up team? In this vlog, we're gonna be talking about what I believe is the biggest mistake that I made in 2018. So let's get to it, team. All right, team, it is your biggest fan, the real Casadero here. I don't, some of you, I don't know you, I never met you. Maybe we're meeting for the first time, but I tell you this, as Les Brown would say, you have greatness within you. That's what these videos are all about. It's about us helping each other out, helping each other get to the places that we, we are trying to get to and do the things we want to do and ultimately live the lives we want to live. I figured that I would talk about what I believe is the biggest mistake that I made in 2018. And I've had this conversation with a few friends, but I, I haven't shared it here on YouTube, at least not in this kind of way, at least in, in, in giving you guys my philosophy. There are four pillars in, in, in life. They're the, they're, they're the four pillars to the good life. And I learned this from Ty Lopez, who learned it from someone else, who learned it from someone else. He reads a book a day, so who knows where this information really came from. But I got it from Ty Lopez. In today's modern world, right, if you're in a world where you're watching this video, then there's four things that will guarantee you the good life. And that is making sure you take care of your health, your wealth, your love, and your happiness. And the love is the relationships, the wealth, is the income, the money you need to do the things you want to do, buy the things you want to buy, live where you want to live, eat the kind of foods that you need to eat, have the gym memberships you need to have, and those things tie into health and happiness. So health is is eating good food, and, and then you have love, which is which is having this close network of friends and family that you can depend on, that you can rely on, people who come to you uh, for advice and they look up to you and people you can mentor and, and stuff like that. We put all these things together, health, wealth, and love, they all lead to happiness. And when we're happy, we're able to provide these things, the health, wealth, and love with the nurture, with, with, with the, the nurture and the nutrients that they need in order to grow and to thrive. So in 2018, what I did is I, is, is a few years ago, and this is probably a big mistake that I made in 2017 too, and in 2016 as well. I had gone through the military, I got out, I went to school, I had a great time there, I went into car sales, I had an okay time there. It was good in the beginning, it was kind of bad in the middle, then it got good near the end, and then I got the, the dream job, the job of a lifetime. My 16 year old self would have been like, whoa, this guy is the guy I want to become. I was there, I was doing it. But what I did is I left myself to the mercy of the marketplace, which means I put myself in a position where I was an employee. When they didn't need me anymore, they didn't need me anymore. And that's completely understandable. Every business has to operate this way in order to be able to provide people like me and like you and like everyone around us with opportunities to to, to learn and to grow and to earn and to, and to live and to do the things they want to do. Some some jobs are better than others. I got it. Some pay more than others. I got it. Those That's all up to the market. The market determines how much of a, a job is worth. When I say I put myself at the mercy of the market is I didn't plan on leaving the job before the job left me. What I should have been doing from the day I was hired at every job that I've had since I've left the military, and even while I was in the military, I should have been looking for the next job or the or how to start the, uh, the, the next business or how to, or not even going that far, how to create an income stream where I don't have to depend completely on this paycheck or this business that I'm planning on starting. How to create an income stream, maybe two, three hundred dollars a month or something like that. I had these things going. I sold the hats for a little while. The hats are coming back. The hats are coming back. I believe I have a supplier that makes a good quality hat. This is not the quality of hat that I like. It's an okay hat. But I like high quality. All my other hats are high quality. I believe I have a supplier that can that that can provide some high quality hats. So the hats are coming back. I had the sticker business. I was generating a few bucks a month. So it, it, things were okay. And then I had a job that was paying me great money. And it, that that was good. And I got kind of lazy. I stopped building stuff. I, I, I had ideas and I was putting these ideas into the Spark file, but I wasn't working on any of them. I was really just going to work and doing tutorials so I could learn more about how to do stuff at work. So maybe that was a part of my plan, like to, to really level up my skills at work and to move to the next level and the next level. But even still, I would be placing myself at the mercy of the, the marketplace 
and at the mercy of the employer. So what what I should have been doing, I should have I should have taken a three pronged approach to it. I should have 10 x everything I was doing, like Grant Cardone says, and I should have been looking for other jobs, put my resume out there, looking for other jobs, seeing what those what those companies are looking for. Then in my off time for my day job studying those things for the next job. So I'm working here, I'm studying for this job here, and, and I'm applying the things that I'm learning over here to the job that I'm doing here. So if I don't get promoted, another opportunity may come along where I can do this job. Then in addition to that, I should have been out prospecting or, or, or just or telling as many people as I can, like, hey, I do websites, I do web design, I do web development, I do app development. And again, at the same time, while I'm working here, I'm, I'm, I'm applying for jobs, I'm seeing what other people are looking for. I'm I'm learning these these things that employers are looking for and I'm finding clients and I'm doing jobs on the side and actually building stuff. And uh, there's a whole nother prong. We can build something for ourselves. We can take one of the hundreds of ideas that we have in the Spark file and we can start building that thing. So now our time is completely booked, but it is completely based on and focused towards where we want to be in the future. Health, wealth, love and happiness we want to have those things and all of that would have what would 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 have would have focused me on where it is i was trying to get to so i would have the day job over here i'm earning money i've got the the night app that i'm building that i'm gonna launch that as an income stream the freelance work that's coming in jobs here and there where i'm producing stuff for other people so i'm learning about how to apply this stuff and somebody's paying me for it and i'm taking that knowledge and i'm putting it inside of my application over here and i'm taking that knowledge i'm taking all of this knowledge that i'm getting from the courses that I'm getting from the contract work, that I'm getting from building my own thing, and I'm using it to level up my skills at work. If they promote me, fantastic. I'm making more money. I still got my other income streams, and I'm still learning. If they don't promote me, fantastic. I still got my other income streams, and I have other opportunities. If they don't promote me, and I don't have other opportunities, I got this thing that I'm building, and I have this whole bank of skills that I can use and eventually find another job or really push myself to finish this application or push myself to find more clients no matter what happens we got something we could turn to and we could say I'm gonna work this thing as much as I can to get as much as I can out of it to produce this much and when I hit that level I'll be comfortable and I can focus on this thing the most successful people in society that we hear about that we follow that we listen to that we that we read about these are the things that they're doing and that's where I messed up I got comfortable got distracted and I didn't do the things that I knew I should have been doing and I left myself at the mercy of the market when the market decided they didn't need me anymore it threw me into turmoil it threw my family into turmoil everybody's confused and lost and they don't know what to do and i'm like man am i good enough is this the path should i that i should be taking should i go back to the army should i should i go get a, a, a day labor job or, or whatever right i'm thinking all these different things i get depressed and sad and all this other stuff a complete mess eventually i was able to pull myself out of it and piece myself back together put together a plan and, 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 and really get inside of my head and clean out all the trash, all the garbage that's in there and go, look, if this guy can do it, you can do it. And if this guy can do it, you can do it. And if she can do it and she can do it and they can do it and he can, you can do this, but you gotta have some sort of concrete plan. Where is it you're trying to get to? What is it you wanna do? How much you wanna earn? What kind of friends do you wanna have? What kind of relationships do you wanna have? And it doesn't happen overnight. You gotta, you gotta find that place. You gotta go deep inside of yourself and figure out who you are and what it is you want to do then little by little little steps little actions little habits writing your goals down every day planning out what you're going to be doing the, the next day and the next week when you sit down and do a task applying all of your focus to that task little by little they build up and you become the person that you want to become and you're able to live the life you want to live i've experienced it i've done it but the end like i said at some point i got comfortable and then i stopped doing those things i left myself at the mercy of the market so we don't want to do that that's the biggest mistake i made in 2018 it will not be a mistake that i make in 2019 or into the future we are focused that we've got it all laid out and we're gonna go out and we're gonna get it team and i want you guys to do the same that's why i record these vlogs i like to hear myself talk of course but i want to help people too i i try to make content that that would help the person that I was yesterday and the day before and five years ago and 10 years ago and so on and so forth. 
these are the I'm, I'm trying to create the resources that I believe would have helped me when I was getting into the game and, and I was I was trying to figure out what direction I want to go and what it is I want to learn but most importantly I want to I want to get inside of people's heads and, and, and get them to thinking not necessarily about the skill but what the life like how do you want to feel on a daily basis how do you want to live what are the things you want to do when you focus on that stuff then you get happy and you like you start to feel this kind of way inside that bubbles up all these other things like I really enjoy making music or I really enjoy making beats or I really enjoy sitting down at the computer and putting on my noise canceling headphones and just and just working on this idea for for this app or this game or whatever right like and you're like that that like that would be the ideal work day like if I had to work I would do it for free I would do it for no money I would do it for a million dollars I would do it for zero dollars this is what I really enjoy doing then the, then you can go and you can build your future based on that and, and, and like I said it doesn't happen overnight it may take two months or three months it may take a year it may take five years it may it may take 10 years it may take the rest of your life but at the very least you know you're working towards the life you want to live and the person you want to be and that's going to create a whole different dynamic for you team Woo! that was a lot of information to drop in one vlog team I, I hope I hope I that that it has helped somebody that has got you thinking about like yo like this is it this is who i want to be this is what i want to do and you're ready to go out there and get it team leave comments below so you can meet each other talk to each other bounce ideas off of each other learn from each other all this stuff if you are just learning about code head over to code365startuplab.com and there are some free videos there free tutorials that will get you up and running in the world of code and if you want to take it a step further there's resources there that will show you the processes it, I use walking you line by line through code and how to build different kinds of applications and put those online and market them and sell them and all this other stuff build those all into big applications and we talk about programming and programming paradigms and all the stuff that you may want to learn at some point or along your journey you can find that over at code market sell Dot com. But in the meantime, what you can do is you can uh, click the subscribe button and subscribe over here and hit the notification bell and you'll get notified whenever I upload new content team. That's if you like me and you like what I'm talking about and you, and you like everything. And like I said, the hats are coming back team. I'm going to let you go now. Get on, plan your day. Do what it is you got to do. Get to where you want to be in 2019. Don't make the mistake that I did. Always be moving. 10x your goals. Get out there. Get after a team. I will see you in the next vlog.